Going back to work after giving birth can be like walking through a minefield of worries. What childcare should I use? Can I pump enough milk? How am I going to concentrate on very little sleep? When am I going to have time to buy groceries and clean my house and run errands and work out and connect with my husband and bond with my baby? Many moms struggle with these stressors, but some discover solutions to overcome the concerns, like the moms in this video who share the secrets that got them through the agony after childbirth. I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where mothers of all different backgrounds share the ups and downs and hacks of juggling career and kids. Some moms take years away from their career after having a baby, but others are back to work within a few weeks. I had the luxury of spending six months with each of my babies before I went back to work. As a freelance journalist with a full-time working husband, we made the choice to live on less and put my career on hold until I was ready to have someone else watch my baby. And then I decided to work just two days a week. But other moms dive headfirst back into a full-time career. And some have difficulty juggling work and motherhood, especially those perfectionist moms who have to come face to face with the new normal and learn how to cope with it. Did you plan to go back full time and did your plan work out? Yeah, I was actually asked to come back in a month and I did, which was a nightmare. So a month um, after I delivered her, I went back to work and a week later I decided to go back on maternity leave. And my, my company was great. They were okay with me doing that. So I went back for I think another month and a half um, and then started working again. So you leaned in and then leaned back out a little. So uh, moms that are maybe going through that decision-making process right now and think, well, I feel good, I can do it, I got it all lined up. Yeah. What advice would you give to them? Why? How, what made it so hard for you to cope? Um, it, it was just too much. It was overwhelming and it, it didn't feel fair to myself, to my kid, to my family. Um, and for what? I mean, I was being pulled in all directions and I couldn't give my 100% to anybody or anything. So it just did not seem right. And luckily for me, I had the flexibility to be able to go back uh, on maternity uh, leave. It was, you know, kind of without pay, but uh, that was a decision that my family supported and I was able to do it. When you went back, you did end up going back full time. It was just a few months later. Why was it so much different and easier to handle? Uh, my daughter was sleeping through the night, so it was a whole lot easier to go back to work on a full night's sleep. And then um, I had resources in place. I had a full time, she was going to daycare full time, so I had all that set up, so it got easier. Did it end up being um, exactly like you thought or harder than you thought? What were some of the challenges? Um, definitely harder. Um, I am very type A perfectionist and I had to learn to let go and to really prioritize um, and know that good is good enough. It doesn't have to be great. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but just to always do the best that I can at that time. Um, whether it's you know deciding to give more time to my children um, and less, a little less time to work, or sometimes I do have to put in extra time um, for work. So it's just trying to keep the balance. Um, I'm very fortunate that I have a supportive husband, so he helps a lot, definitely uh, with like a team. So he kind of helps pick up the slack with like laundry or grocery shopping um, when he can to kind of help balance the amount of work that I have to do as well. So. so a lot of moms feel, like you said, that they're not doing in any area what they want. What were, what were some of the areas that you were feeling like you were falling short? And have you gotten sort of past that? Or are there still times when you're like, ah, oh, I'm not giving enough attention to my house or to my exercise routine or to my, to my little one? Or what are some of those things? Um, I decided to make the choice that my kids would always come first. So I made sure that they were always tended to, had what they needed, had their time with me. I set a limit as to how long I would stay at work and I learned how to say no to things. Um, and I also learned that at work, um, I did the best I could and I found out that that was the best. Nobody was complaining. My principal was happy with my performance and I learned that I didn't have to be 
you know, at that level that maybe I had. I just, at this season of life, I can't give what I used to give when I didn't have kids. Um, and I just had to come to terms with that and accept that that's okay um, and make peace with that and give myself a little grace. And like my house, yeah, like it's not going to be spotless. I don't have hours to clean it like I used to. Um, but as long as it's, or, you know, clean the kitchen's clean every night and you know I, I yeah there might be cobwebs in the corner a little dust you know dust here and there but um, my kids um, spending time with my kids and is to me more important at this time I wish I could hire a cleaner lady but I can't I am the cleaner lady so um, I just had to to accept it and it's okay was it harder than you thought when you were away yeah oh yeah definitely how do you manage I'm not sure. We just take shifts. Whenever he's stressed out, I take over. Whenever I'm stressed out, he takes over. Was it a busy morning rush? Was it a hard, heartbreaking drop off or, you know, or was it just kind of a, you know, matter of fact thing for you? She cried every day <laughs> for months. So it was extremely hard. And we had, uh, she got sick very often too. So that was the other thing. So I did end up, you know, working from home or being home with her because she was sick that often. So it was hard. I mean, I wish I was in a country like, you know, UK or some of the European countries where they support six months or greater, a year sometimes. I mean, that would be fantastic. Did you think of just taking time off from your career? Because some people do that. Or cutting back to part time or changing careers or any number of things. Yes. Absolutely, I did, but I didn't have the means to be able to do that. I was on a visa back then, and there were stipulations because of that, and most companies were not willing to work with you and on that part-time you know, status, so no, I didn't have that option. I've had those moments where I've cried, and I've had to um, give myself a lot of grace and um, come to peace with things. Um, in all honesty, I did um, meet with a therapist to, like a counselor, you know, to help me. Because when I first went back to work with two kids um, and work, there was some situations going on at work that were super demanding. Um, I had to have somebody to help talk me through that to realize that I am doing a good job. I don't have to be great. I don't have to be perfect. Um, and I need to decide what my priorities are and just do the best that I can. And so I reach, I say to moms, if you're struggling, get help. Don't be afraid to talk to somebody, to talk to your doctor. Um, I struggled with anxiety, um, and so I've had to see a doctor for that. Um, and I think too many moms suffer in silence, um, and that's unfortunate. It's not anything to be embarrassed about, and we all need help a little time at every now and then or at some point in our life. Um, so that's my tip. <laughs> Good for you for sharing that and for taking that step. I hope these moms gave you some great ideas for planning ahead before going back to work after having a baby and preparing for the tough times. And I want to help as you face new struggles by giving you more tips from other working moms. So subscribe to my Working Mom Warrior channel and click on the next video to soak up more inspiration to help you conquer those challenges as you face another day of frenzy and fulfillment.